Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series that I am attempting to do on my channel here. Now, disclaimer here, I am by no means a professional with the Unreal Editor that you can get with the Unreal Tournament. I am just enjoying using it, so I am going to be going along as I learn and get better. I'm going to teach you all what I know. First thing first. What you want to do is go to file and new and your geometry style is going to start as subtractive now the difference between the two is with additive you are adding blocks into the world and subtractive you're taking out we uh, show here in a little bit the difference and subtractive is the easier of the two to start out with so we're going to choose subtractive and then the next thing you want to do is you want to save your level so file save as we're just going to save it right on the desktop here uh, file name we will just call it tutorials and that's going to save it as the ut3 file so the unreal tournament 3 file so as soon as you save that we are good so let's get the save bam okay so now let's talk a little bit about subtractive and how to actually produce things into the world so over here on the left side, there's what they call the cube brush. These are your brushes right here. You have volumetric, which is like torches, chains, and whatever. Different types of staircases, stay away from those. We have a tetrahedron, which is also a sphere, just a plain sheet, cylinder, cone, and our cube. You're gonna wanna start out with the cube first as it's one of the easier ones to learn. So when you click on the cube, it just produces a cube like if we click on there we got our cone so what you want to do is right click the little cube block and you get this little brush builder so with the brush builder it has default values of 256 256 and 256 now that is very important number to remember as like this entire engine has ran off of two like variants of 256 so what I mean by that is you can do uh, 128 and that's going to, uh, as we zoom in here, that's going to change the height of our block. We could do like 512, and that's going to change the Y coordinates. And we could do, oh, let's just go 128 again. So we have a, just like a thin rectangle, which is not very big as the players are about a hundred units high with the Z coordinates. But we're just gonna stick with the 256 as it's pretty standard. Here we go. Whoa. I just want 256, not 256 like million. Change all those to 256 million. And then we can click build and close it. So now we have our little cube as you can see. It's nice and red bordered. Now, how do we pull material from this giant plane of blackness so what you want to do on the left side you can subtract so with your cube selected so click on there you get this little nice little drag window and it's pretty self-explanatory the that moves it that moves it that way and this moves it up and down so it really doesn't really matter what you start with as long as you know you know what you're doing in terms of moving it so over here you want to click the button that says CSG subtract and BAM you subtracted a chunk out of your world now it's, it's pretty boring um, so this is what it does this is how it starts it just pulls it and it's just textureless so as that's pretty much all you really have to know in terms of uh, how to pull materials and pull space out of the subtractive geometry style and we can even do this even more so we can go let's change that to 64 just because I can we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna subtract again and these perspectives we can talk about those in here in a second here so now I have this cube here which is 512 on the x 512 on the y and 256 on the z that's 
pretty standard. It's a pretty, it's an okay sized box, I suppose. But I mean, I've worked with a lot bigger. I'm working on a 10,000, it's like 10,000 by 10,000 or something like that. It's huge. And so now we have this and let's talk a bit about the perspectives as these perspective views in Unreal Tournament 3 or in the Unreal Editor uh, 3 is very important. I don't know how many times I have thanked these different perspectives. In Unreal 4, this is not a default layer. I don't know if you can get the different perspectives, but I hate the Unreal 4 because of that. So what we have here is our P. So we have a perspective view. Now what that means, it's a graphical style. It's what you see is what you get. So it really helps when putting uh, static meshes in or objects, you know, cars, uh, plants, bricks, things like that. It's, it's your god. This is like the god mode right here of all these um, different perspectives. Now the top one here, this is top down. So when you look down, this is what your level looks like. And then we have our side view. So it's just the side of it. I don't, doesn't really matter which side you go left or right, but it's the same thing. And then we have our frontal uh, perspective. These two I don't really use as much, the top, the side and front. I use top down and perspective the most, and I feel like you are probably going to be doing the same thing. And that should end, wrap up our tutorial. The movement is pretty standard of any 3D editor like this. You hold right click to change your free roaming camera and left click to move. Just like you can just move and your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So that's probably something I should have said at the beginning, but oh well. This is, like I said, pretty standard, so thank you all very much for watching, and please join me for episode two, which is going to be a link down in the description and on the screen right now, if it's there. That's probably pretty loud. And that episode, we are going to be talking about how to put some textures onto these little cubes that we made here so it doesn't look so checkerboardy bland. So once again, thank you all very much for watching. Please click that like button down below and hit that subscribe button for more Unreal Tournament tutorials. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.